Hi there, it's Karen Davis here for Simon Says Stamp and I'm really happy to be back sharing a quick card tutorial using the Tea Time stamp set from Avery Al. Uh, this set's part of the spring release from Avery Al and it does have coordinating dies that you can buy separately. And For today's card though, I'm going to be doing it the old-fashioned way and I'll be cutting them out by hand. I'm starting with some Nina white cardstock. This is the £80 variety and I'm going to be using Memento London Fog um, ink because I plan to colour the images that I'm stamping, which I've, I've taken one of the teacups. Um, I'll be colouring those in with Copic markers. And obviously I don't want my colours to bleed or the ink to mix. I'm going to give each of the cups a different design and included in the set are lots of little kind of detailed images that you can design various different teacup styles with. Um, for the first one I'm just going to repeatedly stamp um, just three times the, the little um, kind of floral image just to give it um, a little bit of detail on that one. The second um, design is going to be one of the border images and then for the third one um, I'm taking one of the little motif designs there and there's a tiny little kind of polka dot stamp in there too um, so I thought I'd just take that and add, add a few little polka dots to the um, third cup. I'll speed this up again, my Copic colouring isn't anything to be greatly admired so I'll just speed up what I've done. I'll try and include the um, Copic markers that I have used, um, but um, any colours, you, you can decide which, which colours you want to do. Um, once I've coloured each one in, I'm taking a very sharp um, scalpel knife and just going to cut the inside of the handle. This is why I'm choosing not to use the dies um, this time, because the die doesn't cut the inside of the handle out. and for my preference for this card, I wanted to have that cut out. I've done each of the three cups. I've coloured each one and then um, fussy cut them out, including the handle. It's a tip to cut the handle, the inside of the handle first before you cut the rest around because um, otherwise it becomes quite delicate. But in the card, I'm going to be stacking the cups together. so. In order to do that and make them look like they're kind of nestling in, in amongst each other, I'm just going to cut a slit um, just at the top of the uh, teacup, kind of round the rim, and that will allow me just to slip the cups together and make them look like they are all stacked up um, on top of one another. And once you've done that, um, you can then obviously hold them together in place with some uh, foam adhesive if if you want to um, have dimension on your card. Um, as with most cards that I make, um, I can't resist adding a little bit of uh, Wink of Stella, so I'm just going to add little touches on each of the designs, just here and there, um, where I think it's needed. I've made a panel for the front of the card using some wood grain effect cardstock from Avery L. Um, the strip of yellow gingham, that is taken just from a scrap of paper I had from the Everyday Pattern Paper collection. Um, and I've cut that using one of the scalloped border dies from the dotted dies um, collection as well. I'm using my Misty here now. Um, I wanted to stamp directly onto the white cardstock, the, the wood grain cardstock, but it's quite difficult to get a nice clear clean impression um, but with the Misty because you can over stamp it two or three times um, and get the um, image in exactly the right place each time then um, I thought I would go ahead and risk stamping on the wood grain effect and it worked really well. So to finish off I'm just taking a note card from the Royal Collection in the orchid colour. Um, I decided that the note card, the, it's an A2 size and my panel was just a little bit too short. It didn't look quite right on the front of the card so I've just trimmed off about maybe three quarters of an inch, half an inch um, just from the bottom just so that it kind of looks a little bit better to my eye anyway. I've just used some Form adhesive for the back and adhered that to my note card and my card is finished. 
Uh, thanks once again for watching and I'll just leave you with a little look at the finished cod. Thanks. Bye bye.